What's up, everybody? Clyde here with KJ Tour Sports Breaks, doing our half case p or random team of the 2016 Bowman Draft ju Jumbo, not Super Jumbo. This is number one. It's the first side. Today's date is the 10th of December 2016, just for another 21 minutes. And I am only here because of you. So here we go. We're going to roll the dice. This is going to be for the random for the giveaway, and then we're going to keep that dice roll for the random for the teams. So good luck, everybody. We're going to go six times on both. Woo-woo! Six. Bama did it in college football. <laughs> All right. And there is everybody that's in on this one. Good luck. Six times. One. Two. There's a whole lot of Tommy in this one. Three. Both Benny. Five. Sixth and final time. Good luck, good luck. Six. Going out to Tommy. Surprise, surprise. Congratulations, Tommy. After the break, you get the pick between a box of high-tech, strata, or stadium club, brother. Congrats on that. Here we go. This is for the break break. Let's get it. All right, six times. One. Two, tree fitty, P doubles a more on four, five, and six. We got Tommy is a power top and a power bottom on that one. And for your teams, we have all your teams with your five combos. You have the O's and the Marlins, Cubs, Angels, Tigers, Rangers. Brewers, Royals, and Padres and Giants as your combo team. Six times. Good luck. One. Two. Tree fitty. P doubles a whore on four. Five. And six and final time. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Six. Brewers, Royals up top. Tigers, Rangers down below. Where'd the Phillies go? Spot 16. Ooh, Jason. Snake Eyes got the Roy or the Phillies. Here are your squads. Maximize that up. All right, Tommy, you got the Brewers, Royals, and the Rockies. Jason, you got the Mets. Brian, you got the Reds. Tommy with the Nats. Nathan, you got the Angels Cubs combo. Big sexy ooh, big sexy with the Strohs. In the O's Marlins combo. John, you got the Indians. Tommy with the Twinkies. Pat, you got the Dodgers. JP got the Yanks. Tommy got the Rays, the Mariners. JB got the Padres, Giants. Jason, Snake Eyes got the Phillies, boom. Tommy with the Braves. Nathan got the D-backs. Tommy with the Blue Jays and the White Sox. Red Sox going to Nathan. Tommy, nasty on the Athletics and the Pirates. Cardinals going to JP, and the Rangers-Tigers combo going to Tommy. Here is your time to trade if you want to do any trading. Trade it up. The <laughs> whiskey starting to mix with the map. <laughs> I didn't see that until just now. Are the Phillies for trade, Snake Eyes? Let me I am. I think he might be in another room right now. JB, sorry that guy was being a douche biscuit. I banned his ass, so he could suck a dick. <clears throat> yep, you got the Phillies, brother, but Tommy wants to trade two or three teams for him if you want to. Which actually isn't a bad idea because they only have the one hit with Mickey Moniac. He is the best hit, but there's only the one hit. All right, 
Brian said the Reds are for trade. Pat says Dodgers are for trade. I'm going to give you guys a couple minutes to do trades, and I'll be right back. Just let me know when you finalize. Pat, I can't believe you'd trade the Dodgers, brother. That's a good team. It's one of the better teams in the product. All right, twins for Dodgers confirm. Wow. Okay. Check her out. Yeah. Skankies. Oh, I thought you were Jason Johnson, man. My bad. <laughs> Who is uh, Jason Johnson? Tommy, that's the wrong Jason, man.
trying to remember who that was. He didn't put his uh, name there. Jason Johnson has him, but I forget who that is. I think he's new with the room. I don't think he's in here, brother. All right, I'm going to go ahead and show the case, let you guys talk about any more trades. <clears throat> and we're going to roll the dice for which side we're going to do. Yeah. Tom, I wouldn't risk that many teams for one card. You get huge hits. And a lot of other teams, especially when you have as many as you have. It would be silly to do that. <clears throat> All right, one, we're going to do left side, two, right side, three, top, four, bottom, five or six is a reroll. Here we go. Three, one, two, three. So we're doing this side of the case. This is four side turn, random team number two. All right, any other team, any other trades? If not, let me hear some. Uh, let me see some rippets in the room. Let me hear some frogs. Get our focus in. Give me some rivets. <coughs> In the break, and you're done trading. Ribbit, ribbit. All right, here we go. Sorry, Tommy. I think you're better off with having all the marks for your play, to be honest. I think you're the one. Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. All these frogs. Yeah, I know, not these idiotic rat packs. I'm sorry, I am not a super jumbo fan. I am not at all. I don't think the two extra autos per box to take price. I think there's a lot more color and value than jumbo, to be honest. Like 60 bucks a box cheaper. There's a lot more good stuff in it. Yeah, I feel like Super Jumbo is the uh, vending of Bowman Draft. Because, like, Bowman Chrome Hobby was good, but Bowman Chrome Vending was awful. And I think that that's the same thing here. It seemed like we got all the late round draft picks in Super, and we get all the early round draft picks in regular Jumbo. In my opinion. Doesn't make any sense. I don't know why they would do something like that. Just do an even spread across the board. You know what I mean? They gotta make it fucking different. Uh, yeah. Yeah, quite a bit, brother. That case was great. This case that I got up there now started off really good, too. We hit a uh, Bo Jackson out of it already. So we hit the chipper last night. You hit the chipper last night, and now we got a Bo Jackson. It's just to piss off Blake. 
All right, guys, here we go. Good luck. First up for the Indians, Nelly Rodriguez, 371 out of 499. Chromey action. For the Padres, Mason Thompson, Refractor, 150 out of 150. eBay, Juan de Juan. Beady eyed Tyler. More chrome action. Oops, wrong stack there. Base paper. More chromies. The kid, King Griffey. Insert. More chromies. And some more paper. What, because you don't have them? You think the Phillies are going to kill it? I don't know, man. The Phillies have Moniac. That's who they have. Is he a good hit? Yeah. Is he worth getting all that crazy about? I don't know. We're on, what, our fourth case, and we've seen one Moniac? So the odds are low that he comes out. We did get a refractor Moniac, though. And there we go. For the Blue Jays, Bo Bichette, right off the bat, nasty. Gotta take a Bichette now. Scared the Bichette out of me. Blue Jays. Uh, going out to Tommy, nice. Right off the bat, Tommy, good hit. Cronies. Pay for one of your spots. Oh, that looked like it might have been an Aflac all of a sudden. Aflac. And Chrome. You get used to doing that other stuff and you forget where shit is in there. Corey Ray insert. Chrome action. Paper. And green paper for the Athletics. Javon Shelby. 34 out of 99. Kaboom! Here he is. And for the White Sox, Zach Birdie. Nice. That's sick. White Sox going out to... What the fuck are the White Sox? Going out to Tommy. Going back to back, Tommy. Pichette and Birdie. See, that's what I'm talking about. Two nice first round hits already. That's almost as much as we had in that entire case of Super. Mickey Mantle Super. <laughs> Bo Jackson, we got that card out of the last case. We got two of the best ones come out already. See if we can get another one. Be sick. And a little bit of chrome. Not a whole lot of love, though. Dane Dunning. Insert. Upside down for no fucking reason in the back there. A little kaboom action. Kaboom! And Christian Arroyo for the Giants. Blue sky non numbered. Zach Collins insert. And base crumbs. More paper. The sweet last year. The Cardinals have five of them in here? Really? I didn't know that. Paper. Cronies. Justin Dunn. Insert. Chrome. Paper. Ooh, looks like we got an orange. Nice. Yeah, it's orange chrome, too. Hope it's an auto. It is Dakota Hudson for the Cardinals. Orange. 24 out of 25. 34th overall pick. Booyah for the Cardinals going out to JP. There you go, buddy.
That just makes this case way better than the Super already. Fuck Super. Super can suck it. Jumbo for me all day long, baby. More Chrome. Face paper. Nice hit, man. And we got a purple refractor. A Ferdy Seymour for the Braves. 224 out of 250. Austin Meadows. I feel like he's been in products for the last like 10 years. Nice hit on that Hudson, man. That's nice. Very nice, bro. What's that boom? Kaboom! Kaboom! Base paper. Black Refractor, Jew Jackson for the Mariners. 111 out of 499. And we should have our third auto in this one. Cal Quintrill. Did we already get three autos? Funkhauser. I <laughs> love Funkhauser. And base. Let me see. Yeah, <laughs> suck it. All right. Yeah, we got our three autos. Bichette, Birdie, and Hudson. Look at that box. That was a great box. 66 overall, 26th overall, and 34th overall. Yeah. <laughs> Much better. That one box outperformed that entire case of Super. <laughs> Imagine that. We got 23 left on the other side, too, so... It's already starting off good. What's up, David? You decided to come back? Because you thought Alabama invented college football? <laughs> College football goes through Alabama. <laughs> the team's the Crimson Tide, but they have a fucking... What is that big-ass mammal? The elephant. Where the fuck is the elephant going? Ohio State's got a dumb-ass mascot. It's a Buckeye. But at least they stick with it. It's a Buckeye. <laughs> you really are, dude? Nah. Just playing with you. Blue paper, Chris Okie Dokie for the Reds. 69 out of 150. Boom on the 69. And a gold. We got Thomas Jones for the Marlins and a gold. Lucius Fox for the Rays. Nice. 29 out of 50. There you go, Rays. Dylan Cousins. Face. Um, like this box case already. I don't know, man. I don't know. Washington. You got to get by Washington first, bro. That game's not a given. You're not just guaranteed a win there, bro. We'll see. We will see. All right. Base cards. If the game goes down, if it's Ohio State, Alabama, you better get up here. That way I can fucking laugh at you in person when we beat you. Dakota Hudson. And more chrome. Space, 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 space. I want to see your sad face. <laughs> Shit talking in full effect. Kyle Lewis insert. <laughs> nah. I'm just fucking with you now. I'm having fun. Would be Washington by 40? Really? Wow. I don't think so. Washington can sling the ball. Don't forget. And for the Red Sox, CJ Chatham Refractor Auto. 20 out of 499. Red Sox. Going out to Nathan. There you go, Nathan. And some cronies. More base paper. Yeah, I was kind of off on that. I didn't say crush, but I thought Colorado would beat him on that one. You are right on that one. I'll give you that. I don't know. Anytime Colorado's quarterback isn't hurt, they're good, but he kept getting hurt. It sucks for them. 
They had a good season, though. Kyle Muller for the Braves, 354 out of 499. It's just nice to see Colorado back. Franklin Barreto. I actually like the Buffs. I grew fond of them while I lived in Denver. I went to a bunch of their games. Their fan base sucks ass. They're lame as hell, but the team is good. And... Whoop! Who's that guy? Justin Dunnett. Yeah. Colorado fans are just fair weather fucking fans. Oh, uh, Pac-12 was horrible. I was saying the same thing earlier this season. I felt like their quarterback overthrew the ball a lot. I mean, he could still sling the ball, but I felt like he overthrew the routes a lot. And if you have a really good defense out there, they're going to pick him off. Taylor Trammell for the Reds. There you go, Reds. 35th overall pick. Reds are going out to... Going out to Brian. There you go, Brian. A little trammel action. More base paper. Illegitimate job. Uh, cronies. Nomar Garcia para insert. Chrome, paper, 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 curl off. We need to get his auto. How about that? And a Tyson Miller for the Cubbies. Purple refractor. 169 out of 250. Francis Martez insert. Upside down chromes for no fucking reason other than to be an asshole. Tops. Bowman. Same fucking company. Bitch of shit. Base paper. And we got a blue sky. Nick Hansen for the Reds. Johnny Bench. I'd like to see that auto. That'd be sick. And I got one bench in my collection. I love it. It's never leaving my collection. It'll sit right next to all my uh, Griffies. All right. We got a purple in this stack. And, and, and is it the auto? It is for the Blue Jays. TJ Zoosh. Sick. Wow. Blue Jays. Tommy. Nasty hit, brother. 223 out of 250. Gross, sir. Gross. Nice hit. And more paper. Zoosh the douche. I don't know, man. Here's my thing. All right. I, I kind of agree that the Tide are the best team in college football right now. But who have they played this year to really, really give them that, you know, <laughs> I don't know. They haven't really played anybody great. It's kind of like Ohio State like eight years ago. A.J. Puck, they had a cupcake schedule. So, of course, they should have blown out most of their competition. You know what I mean? And base. All right, box number three. <clears throat> Every team that is lined up is not good competition. Alabama played a fucking weak schedule. They had a very first game. Yeah, they blew out USC. But that wasn't the USC team that we're seeing right now. That's a different quarterback, whole different thing. It's a totally different team. That team is lights out right now. I think if USC and Alabama played again, it would be a much different story. I don't know, man. Not the same Alabama team. Good. Chattanooga State. Show me where Ohio State played anybody like Chattanooga State. Come on. <laughs> Chattanooga State. And the score was close in that game, too. You guys were struggling with Chattanooga State for a moment. I don't know, buddy. 
I don't know. You you Alabama guys, you really do think that college football starts in Alabama. All right. And a gold auto for the – nope. Gold. Anthony Banda for the Diamondbacks. 27 out of 50. The Diamondbacks going out to Nathan. Francis Martins. No, it doesn't. It does not. Has Bama had a good history in college football? Sure. I'm not disputing that fact. They're just not the end-all, be-all. So slow your roll, Bama fans. Slow your roll. And... Chipper! And Billy McKinney. Lucius Fox. More base card. Well, yeah, they won last year. That's all right. They won't win it this year. There's three other teams that have something to say about that. And for the Twins, boom! Alex Kurloff. Nasty. Wow. Refractor even. 318 out of 499. Pat. Nice trade on the Twinkies, brother. Dude, this case is so much better than that super case. And Willie Adams for the Rays. 79 out of 150 blue paper. Yeah, exactly. The SEC is awful this year. Awful. Outside of Bama, there is no good team in the SEC. So, uh, that's not Bama's fault they had an easy schedule. It would usually be a hard schedule, but they had a fucking easy schedule this year. So they strolled into an undefeated season. A.J. Puck. If USC had their shit together during that first game, they would have had a real first game on their hands. But no, they got to walk through a victory against a now really good USC team, who I think could compete with anybody in the country right now. Eric Feedy from the Nats, 262 out of 499. And Big Hurt, there he is. Look at him with his smile. All young and shit. No base paper. Okay, well that's next year. This year, this year Ohio State had one of the hardest schedules in the country, and they lost one game. Ohio State, Ohio State, I think had one of the top ten toughest schedules in the country, and we walked away with one loss with the youngest team in college football. The youngest team in college football. Justin Dunn, we had seven guys go in the draft last year. Two went in the top ten. And we come back and we're in the college football playoff again. If you're going to talk shit about Ohio State, you better think about those stats real quick. But you Bama fans only use stats for yourselves. What is this? Oh, it looked like a die cut for a second. And no auto there. Kyle Luce. More paper, more paper. There's three teams in the top ten that Ohio State beat. Three. Oh, nothing new. Dakota Hudson. Oh, nice. What's comical, David? That's the fucking truth, bro. There's nothing comical about it. It's the legit truth. Who the fuck is Alabama beating in the top ten? Anybody? <laughs> No. And for the... Oh, boom! Holy shit. Wow. Mickey Moniac. Look at it. The Phillies. Wow. Jason J. Boom on the Moniac. What a case. The two loads of laundry and you're still blabbering to convince yourself. <laughs> Bama has beaten nobody, that's right. The Bama fans will have you convinced that every team they play is a fucking contender, but no, that's not the truth. <laughs> you fucking guys. Get a grip. Joe Rizzo, Blue Sky Refractor. Franklin Barreto. You guys are like we were eight years ago, I'm not kidding. When Ohio State was just playing cupcakes all the time. 
And we were trying to convince everybody that we weren't, but we fucking were. We were playing cupcakes. You guys are fucking playing cupcakes. You guys are still playing Division II schools. Big Ten doesn't play Division II anymore. Oh, for the Tigers, Matt Manning Blue refresh. Wow. 111 out of 115. This case is insane. Jeez. Where are the Tigers at? Tommy in the combo with the Manning Blue Refractor. Jesus. This case is insane. Nope. Super Jumbo can suck a dick. Jumbo all the way, baby. Uh, Justin, I mean, but by what stats, though? I mean, wh what are we looking at to grade them as the best team head and shoulders? Do I agree they're the best team? Yeah, probably. I'm not disputing that, but what is the what are we looking at? What stats are we looking at that make them the number one team? Nick Solak for the Yankees, 101 out of 150. Dylan Cousins, I think the playoff will show what kind of team they are. If they completely manhandle Washington, yeah, they're gonna, they're they're a phenomenal team then. And then Clemson or Ohio State's got to be seriously scared. <clears throat> All right, last box. This case has been great. Oh my god, guys, get into the other half, please. I might have to take that break down, and I'll just open all the boxes myself. Holy shit! Yeah, but I mean, Justin, really, who, what team was the definitive team that Bama beat that said Bama is the best team in college football? I mean, it's just because they won last year. Everybody wants to give them the trophy this year, but I don't know. I mean, they had a good defense. They had great lines. Their quarterback seems really good because just nobody can get past that offensive line to really pressure him. Of course, he's going to look good. Running backs look good. Receivers look good. I mean, they're a solid team. Yeah, Bama fans did invent They invented it. They invented college football. <laughs> You're right. They, they own the, the patent of college football down there in Alabama. Tuscaloosa. But nobody's answered that question yet. Who did Bama beat that made them the head and shoulders best team in the country? I mean, nobody has the answer to that question because there isn't an answer to it. All right, green, Alex Hansen for the White Sox, numbered 87 out of 99. And another green, there we go, Brett Cumberland for the Braves, 18 out of 99. Two greens, Dominic Smith, and more refractor action. Base cards. Everyone. Really? Okay, I'm going to pull up their schedule. We'll, we'll go through this rugged Alabama schedule. Okay, so you got to pull out the worst teams that we beat on our schedule. You're not going to go through the Oklahoma and Norman. The Michigan, the Wisconsin. Now, you don't want to talk about those wins. Brad Honeywell, Nolan Ryan. Yeah, those we don't want to talk about. You got to skew the data when we talk about Ohio State. Don't talk about the good wins. Just talk about the bad teams that they beat. The three. Doesn't matter. We still got the win, right? There's still a W. That's what you would say if I was talking about who you beat. Auburn and Ole Miss, you're going to put those as powerhouse wins? All right, Will Craig for the Pirates. Nice. Tommy. There you go, sir. Boom on the Pirates. I mean, USC now. <laughs> Not when you played them. They didn't even have the same quarterback. Totally different quarterback. There we go. Crummies. And... Oh, I thought we had something cool coming. Eric Lauder. And Chrome. Oh, 
Ole Miss, Arkansas, and Tennessee were solid this year. Mm. <laughs> I don't know about that. Keep saying it. Nick Solak. 169 out of 499. We'll see how they fare in the bowl games against real competition. And for the Rays, Joshua Lowe. Boom. Jesus. Purple Refractor Auto. Man, 73 out of 250. The Rays. Going out to Tommy. Sick hit, Tommy. Nasty. God, we've hit like the whole top 10. I think the winner of the Clemson-Ohio State game is going to give Bama a wake-up call. I'm going to punch you in the mouth. It's going to be a hell of a football game. I don't think they're going to smoke either one, but I think it'll be a hell of a football game. Uh, Reggie Jackson. I can't wait, man. This I think this playoff is a really well-balanced playoff. I'm excited for it. And... I'm excited. Zach Collins, another crummy, another crummy. God, this case is insane. If you don't get into the other side, there's something wrong with you. Dakota Hudson, Hudson. I just think it's Bradley Zimmer. I think it's funny. Every time I bring up a point, I'm just a typical Buckeye fan and you can't say anything to me. There's no convincing me. But when you bring up a point, boy, it's fucking Jesus' word, isn't it? <laughs> it's all opinion-based, man. In your opinion, you think that. In my opinion, I think this. Matt Dice! And... Boop, boop. Just, I love, you know, I love college football for that, though. It does bring out... It's, you get passionate fans, and that's why I love it. Very passionate about our teams. And for the Braves, Ian Anderson. Sick. That is huge. Braves. My God. Tommy. Gross. Gross. They're laying down a $10,000 fucking bet on what? What are you guys betting ten grand on? Don't do that. Austin Meadows, Blue Sky. Ryan Bolt for the raise. 92 out of 250. AJ Puck. More base cards. Luke Fickle got kicked out. What are you talking about Luke Fickle got kicked out? I don't want Luke Fickle to go. Luke Fickle is a hell of a defensive coach. I think losing Luke Fickle would be a bad idea. I don't know why you hate Fickle so much, man. I think you're, you're wrong on that one, big bro. Black Refractor, Zach Birdie. <laughs> Number 420. <laughs> out of 499 for all you pot smokers out there. And Brett Lilac. And some paper. Let's look through this nasty fucking break. This break was insane. Really? I didn't see that. So he's the head coach of Cincinnati now? Well, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That's not good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. We got Ian Anderson, Joshua Lowe, Purple Refractor, Will Craig, Matt Manning, Blue Refractor, Alex Kurloff, Refractor, TJ Zoosh, Purple Refractor, Taylor Trammell, CJ Chatham, Refractor, Dakota Hudson, Orange Refractor, Zach Birdie, Bo Bichette, 
and Mickey Moniac. Oh my fucking god. That case is insane. Thank you guys for getting in. I'm glad this case was a million times.